I was going through one of my hard drives and found a folder labeled California. I found footage from 10 months ago when I drove from LA to San Francisco and totally meant to make a vlog out of it, but I just kept living my life. Pismo Beach, Big Sur, 6 a.m. right now. And for some reason, there's traffic. Everything was closed in LA, so we decided to head up to Pismo Beach, three hours away, to do a little surf trip. You know how alone you gotta be to go rowing by yourself? Looks like a beat down Vancouver. Surf's up, bruh. I had to go get breakfast. It was good. I think I've had better. I mean, I could throw up. No. All right, the sun's out, sun's shining, waiting for the boys. <laughs> this was back in April, and at that time, this was one of the only beaches in all of California that was open for surfing. And I still couldn't catch a wave. Yeah. I was hoping for the door to slide open and get that way. <laughs> oh. oh. There he is! <laughs> we were walking on the beach, we are like, is that the Legend. Uh, Welcome to Bang Bus. Bus. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, how's it Morning, about to go surfing. It's my favorite sport. I don't think there's any sun today. Ah, yes, this is I suspected. Absolute shit. I surfed for a few hours, and then I realized that I was only two hours from Big Sur, California, which was a place I had always wanted to go in the 10 years I lived in LA. Never been. Is that what I look like in bed? We're here at the Elephant Seal Lookout Point. I think this is Big Sur, but I'm not sure. Ragged Point. Stop for a little snackaroo and the view. I feel like I'm in Vancouver, it's so beautiful. I forget like how pretty California is sometimes. That's where we were. <laughs> now I've heard a lot of people tell me how beautiful the drive is through Big Sur, California. And you know what? They weren't fucking lying. The drive through Big Sur consists of a two-lane highway that's known for its winding turns and seaside cliffs and the beautiful views. It's not very densely populated, but it is known for hiking and camping and shit like that. Update everyone, we've made it to Big Sur. It's really beautiful. Driving through, I heard the city of Carmel is really nice. It's just past here, so we're gonna go scope the scene and uh, call you later. Carmel by the Sea is a city, actual name, in Monterey County, California. It's really known for its numerous hotels. There's golf course, Pebble Beach right by, restaurants, shopping. It's actually a really pretty little town. If you're driving through Big Sur, I highly recommend you stay here. Carmel, beautiful, cute little town, Big Sur. No town at all. After driving through Big Sur and Carmel by the sea, I realized that I was only a few hours now from Napa Valley, wine country. All right, room tour. It's not bad, it was a hundred bucks. Last minute, everything's closed in Napa, so we're you know, living large. That's so cool, of course. Um, yeah, it's morning here. We don't know if anything's open in Napa Valley. We're about to find out, if not, I'm gonna make my own batch of fucking wine and grappa. All right, yeah, it's official. Everything's closed, but we're still gonna break into some vineyards and steal some wine and take some photos, so. See you on the other side. Napa Valley is a famous wine region in California. 
It's in Napa County, south of San Francisco. And you know what? I thought, why not go wine tasting in the height of a pandemic? There's nothing on the fucking wine. The only thing I tasted that day was defeat. I decided it was time to head into the downtown core of Napa to see the city. After seeing all of Napa in about 30 minutes, I realized I was only an hour from San Fran. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay guys, so this is Fisherman's Wharf. This is the most touristy place in all of San Francisco. Like you can't even walk two feet without smelling someone's breath. San Fran was an absolute ghost town. It was actually pretty creepy. After seeing the painted ladies from Full House, Alcatraz, Fisherman's Wharf, there was only one place left to hit. I drove back and forth across the Golden Gate Bridge and for the first time in my life and probably history, there was nobody on it. And then I began the journey home. Oh boy, it was a long one. All in all, it took about seven hours to drive from San Francisco back to LA. But I'm glad I did this trip. I'd always wanted to see Big Sur. Thanks for watching, guys. I have some more vlogs coming up in my end of the year recap. Stay tuned. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I love you all. See you next week. Ciao.